With the Premier League being a mere two weeks away from the beginning of the season, I for one am typically very excited at this point in time. However, for this upcoming season, I'm not as excited as I usually am. And the reason I'm not as excited as I have been for previous seasons is I feel it's probably inevitable that Manchester City may win their fifth consecutive Premier League title. And now look, Arsenal or even Liverpool do have an opportunity that they could win the Premier League this season. I'm not saying that that can't happen. But if you're looking over the past several seasons, it just seems extremely likely that Manchester City are going to win another Premier League. And now obviously Manchester City are being accused of 115 breaches of financial fair play, and that is hanging over their head. However, this is kind of taking some time. I think it's going to continue to take some time, and I don't know if this will be resolved this season. This could take a lot longer for that to be resolved, and in my opinion, they're innocent until proven guilty. And now granted, if a person is charged with one crime, obviously innocent until proven guilty, 115 crimes is pretty crazy. You then may start to think, well, if there's smoke, maybe there's fire. However, I have full confidence that this will be solved in whatever judicial system or whatever this is being disputed in. And if Manchester City are found guilty, I hope that they face an adequate punishment. And if they're not guilty, let's just move on with our lives. That's just my opinion. And I'm a Liverpool fan, so... Nevertheless, I really am concerned with this upcoming season because I think it could set a precedent that Manchester City have been so dominant it's going to make the Premier League seem far less interesting. And granted, I don't want this to come off as some sort of criticism towards Pep Guardiola or the players or even the true fans. There's a lot of bandwagon Manchester City fans. I question how long you've been watching the sport if you tell me you're a Manchester City fan, but I do know that there are some true, true Manchester City fans out there. And now going back to Pep Guardiola, what he has built at Manchester City has been nothing less than spectacular. It's one of the greatest football dynasties I have ever seen. And I don't care about the charges that I mentioned earlier because all of that stuff is prior to Pep Guardiola's time from what I have seen. So he has not been involved, and he has actually even spoken out publicly about how if those charges end up being true, he'll leave the club. So what he has built there, people like to say that it was predicated on on those uh, charges. I don't think so. Manchester City were good when Pep Guardiola inherited the team. However, they were not at the standard that they are now. The dominance that they have had over the Premier League over these past you know, five to like, since Guardiola has pretty much come to City, it's been remarkable. I hate it, but it's been remarkable. And the players have been special too, let's be entirely honest. Sometimes when you have managers that are so great like Guardiola, I feel as though the players become somewhat of an overthought. And let's be real, those guys are the ones out there who are playing. They're the ones picking up the results. And that's why I don't like when it comes back to the charges. Oh, we should we should strip titles. I, I I don't like that, man, because these guys are the ones who went out and played. They had nothing to do with the shady activity that Manchester City is being alleged with. They just had to go out there and play football, and they won games, and they did it fairly as far as I'm concerned. So all that backroom stuff, you know, you have to give a lot of credit to the players. And now with all of that credit to Guardiola and the players aside, I, I really they're just they're just hurting the game as far as I'm concerned. And that's a weird thing to say when when you talk about greatness like Guardiola and, and these players to be like, you know, give them the credit that they deserve and then also in the same breath be like they're hurting the Premier League. They are because of how good they are. Their their success is now creeping into a point where if they win a fifth consecutive Premier League title, at, at that point, it's it's the game isn't going to be as fun to watch for me personally. And Manchester City just continuously win Premier League after Premier League. What is the fun in watching it if we just know that they are going to win every season? And now, granted, Guardiola could leave in a, in a season or two, and I, I think that that's a high probability. We could also see Manchester City get relegated if they're found guilty of all of these charges. But going into this season, you know, I for one, I, I obviously want Liverpool to win the Prem, but I would rather see Arsenal win the Prem than Manchester City, and I dislike Arsenal more as a club than Manchester City. And if I'm being honest, I'd rather see anyone else 
other than Manchester United, beat out Manchester City for the Premier League this season, just because it's become redundant. If we see five consecutive Premier League titles, yes, they will go down as the greatest Premier League team of all time. I'll be honest. Anyone who says different, you're a liar. But at the end of the day, what cost is that? Because it, it just ruined several years of football, just watching them win consecutively. They took the most competitive league in the world and made it redundant. And I love this league, and I don't want to see that happen. I'm sorry, Manchester City fans. I'm kind of wishing on your downfall. But I, I really, I just do not want to see five consecutive Premier Leagues from any team outside of Liverpool. If Liverpool won five consecutive Premier Leagues, I'd be pretty happy. But nevertheless, any other team, I do not want to see that. That sounds terrible. But I want two opinions from you guys down below in the comments. Number one. Do you feel as though the success that Manchester City has had over the past couple seasons is warranted? Or do you feel as though these charges have made them dirty little cheats and they don't deserve any of it? Number two, has the Premier League just become redundant because Manchester City keeps winning? Also, please make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and click that notification bell. I'm on the way to a thousand subscribers right now and I appreciate any and all support I can be given from you guys. I appreciate you, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.